G'day and welcome back. Just a real quick update. Had the first treatment, went no dramas. Had a few side effects the next couple of days after, just with reflux. A little bit shaky in the hands. But apart from that, it all went really well. Like, really, really well. It's a bloody big day, but yeah, we handled it. Getting treatments every 21 days. Shouldn't be too bad. Be a long process, about 18 weeks or more, but we'll be right. What I've been asked to do is the Bega Historical Club has got a bit of a rally going on with all their old vintage engines and so on. I've been joined up to the Bombala Historical Club because you've got to be a, a member of a club to be able to display your engines, supposedly. Though I didn't even know I was getting signed up. It just happened. <laughs> Thanks, Trev. So they've asked me to put in that little red Ronison tippet I rebuilt. I still haven't been successful and found a hopper. For the time being, I've got the young fella fold me up a bit of sheet and we'll just make a hopper for now so I can just so I can run for a few hours. Um, but I've got to build a plate, a thicker plate that adapts, well, can be welded to the hopper and then bolts to the motor so it's a lot stronger. So the vibration doesn't crack it or whatever. Been out with a pencil and ruler and drawn up a plan. I've got some five mil plate that I'll use. Um, just plot this out, I'd say, on the DRO and smash some holes in it. And when the young fella finally gets around to folding up the plate, then I'll be able to just weld that together and put it on. But I, I was going to put it on a set of wheels, but I think I'll just put on some skids now. I'd like to find a proper set of little cast wheels for it. I haven't been successful in that either. Anyway, I'll get this plate cut out and I'll meet you back at the mill where we can just make sure it's square and then start smashing these holes in. That'll be the first part of that little mission done. Okay, I've got this plate roughly cut out and roughly squared up. The dimensions of this has to be five and three quarter inches long, three and three quarter inches wide. So I'll do the sides to dimension, then I'll swap some clamps around, clamp it on this side, then trim the ends. Should just clear the parallels underneath, and we should have a square block. Then I can put the vise back up, tram it in, then smash the holes in it, and this plate should be done. One other side effect I've had is this metal taste in my mouth. Like I've eaten an eye beam off the Harbour Bridge, one of the long ones. Man, oh man, I can't get rid of it. It's horrid. Close enough to three and three quarters there, I'd say. Okay, I've got to swap some clamps around now and hold it from here and here and then sweep the ends. And that went well. So I've got to move up six and a quarter, taking in that cutter, which will give me five and three quarter inch plate. Gotta be happy with that. <clears throat> what I'll do now, take all this off, clean all the table up, tram the vise back in, set this up on some parallels, and then do the sequence of holes. So you need six holes in it, two larger ones in the middle, and four stud holes. This is what my pole pattern is. It's so an inch now from the, from the top, and in center line, we've got a 7 8 hole and an inch hole. And these four other holes are 3 8 for the studs. So, pretty basic.
Tell you what, you wouldn't do nothing without a DRO once you're used to them, eh? They shit off. Okay, I'm going to attempt to plunge a three quarter hole through both of them. I don't know how it's going to go because I don't know what this cut is like. The only thing I am worrying, thinking is the bottom hole is larger than the top. Now is that to help with the the flow because hot water rises? I may open the bottom one up a fraction. Okay, I've got a 24 mil cut it. I'll open this one up with. Now, the million dollar question is, does it fit on the engine? Funny film, these might have to be opened up, just one size. We'll go have a look. Well, Matty screwed up. Bottom holes fit, no dramas. But we're about just under half a hole out on our height. So, what I'm planning on doing, just going to open up one, just going to slot slot two holes so it's got to go upwards it's going to slot these two holes up the top here a fraction and um, hopefully that'll fit There we go. So these are just 3.8 national course and it actually looks like it's sitting pretty darn good. So I've got to do, I have to make up a couple of thick gaskets to go in behind that. Okay, so as you know yesterday, well, yesterday for me, made this plate. Um, young fella come home from work last night and built the hopper for me. And it's thick enough, it's not going to require that plate. He made out a bit of 3 mil. Um, I did say to him, it doesn't matter if it's 2 or 3 mil. Thinking, you know, he'd probably just make it out a bit of 2 mil. Nice and thin, light. But he said this was a bit of scrap laying in the laying there. So he just decided to build it out of that. So, Which is a good thing, because it eliminates this plate. So what I've got to do now is... Um, Mount this up in the mill and drill these holes. Transfer these holes through. Like it is go, which is a good thing in a way because that won't rust. I've got to put a tap in the bottom so it can be drained. Um, I haven't got a tap, so but that can be done at any time. He said I've just, just roughed it in, Dad. And it's going to be painted, so it's going to be plenty bloody good enough. So he's done a great job. So what I've done is I've measured the width of the box and I've drawn a line up the guts used a pointer and lined it to the table. Um, it just so it's gonna sit square on the engine. Okay. Um, if you do remember when I made this plate, I was a little bit out with these holes. I've re-measured them and I think I'm right now. So it's a matter of just copying this again, doing this, doing this plate, that pattern again, so. I can pull this off now and see if it's going to go and fit up on the engine. You won't believe it, the bloody thing actually fitted. And it's straight. That's just unheard of for me. I have got that cork gasket in the middle between the two surfaces. 
take up any imperfections. So all I've got to do now is sort out a lid. Okay, so what I've done off camera is cut a square bit of plate and I've just roughly weld on a couple of lugs for the lid. Now I've got to put a circle in here. Put that on the Cincinnati and I might try and run a big annular cutter through. I've got a 50 and a 60 mil annular cutter. So I'm going to attempt, go balls and all, and see if that's going to work. That went well. That went extremely well. There's our slug. Don't get much better than that. That was a win. You don't get much better than that, do you? Spot on 60 mil. It's good as I'm pretty stoked with that. After looking at this a bit further, that hole I reckon needs to be a little bit bigger. It just doesn't look in proportion in a way. Should be close enough to 75. 75.07. That's good enough, and I'll make up a little an insert to go in there now to make it look a bit bit like the original. It's not gonna look perfect, but Take this out now, spin it around. I'm going to bore the guts out a bit. It just sits in the top there and I'll just put a little tack of weld underneath there so it can't come out. And hopefully that'll stop it splashing a little bit while it's running. I hope. I just tacked it on there. Nothing fancy. Um, that can be all wiped down now. There's a bit of brake cleaner and just a coat of undercoat and a coat of paint. And that's it. Um, hasn't got a tap in the bottom yet because I haven't got a tap to put in there. But that can be put in at any time. So I'm running out of energy pretty quick now. They haven't got the oomph anymore. There we have it with the magic of television. It's painted. I painted it last night. Come out this morning, fired diesel later up and blew a heap of hot air on it. <laughs> it's still a bit tacky. And um, yeah, then bolted it up. So what I've got to do now is drag it outside, fill it full of water, and then got to let it run for an hour or so, and that'll hopefully bed the rings back in because it hasn't been it hasn't been running for more than probably 10 minutes in the last 30 years probably. It's a little bit low in compression, but I'm thinking once it's ran for an hour or so, it'll probably be right. It'll bed back in and should be good to go. I've got no concern it won't go. I'm, I'm confident it'll go straight up. So I'll drag it out onto the dirt, which one day will be concrete when I can afford it. We'll give it a run, see how she goes. <laughs>
Well, after 30 odd years that I know of, that engine's actually had a decent run. Bit of a shame about that head stud, but I, ex I knew that thread was dodgy. I just thought it may take up, but it didn't. So I've got to take the hopper back off, take the head off and get a helicoil and redo that thread and it'll be back to normal. Now it did have a lot of crankcase pressure. It was blowing out the, the vent pretty bad. That's why I had that green rag under there. But it seemed to slow it down a bit and it's got a fair bit of compression now, which is good. But um, I'm absolutely knackered, to be honest. I'm, I'm happy that it's going. It's, it's a good thing. So that's that engine would be good enough to go up to the rally and be running for the day. And I've got full confidence it won't give any trouble. It's not quite running 100% smooth, but I'm going to get uh, old mate Jack around here probably and get him to have a fiddle with it. And I reckon he'll be able to get it running Mickey Mouse. So. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video. That hopper took me nearly two and a half days, three days to build. And normally I'd get that done in sort of, you know, it'd be done in a day. But I'm running out, of, just running out of grunt, just get real sore and just ache like a bastard but that's they they did tell me to expect that so i've just got to put up with it and roll with it so anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed that i thoroughly enjoyed it it was actually nice to hear it have a good long decent run and that hopper got hot the water got really hot but it was still cold down the bottom so it's obviously the siphon is working well the siphon effect so i'm pretty happy Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll see you next week. All right.